Hello everyone welcome to my channel UK Immigration and Visa Updates today we bring latest update regarding UK's new immigration rule. Visa violators to face ban on hiring foreigners. Businesses violating work visa rules will no longer be allowed to hire employees from abroad under a new immigration plan revealed by Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer on Tuesday. In his speech at the Labour Party conference in Liverpool, the Prime Minister laid out his government's strategy to curb migration and reduce Britain's dependence on foreign workers. He linked visa policies to skills shortages and market needs, stressing the importance of training young Britons rather than relying on foreign labour. Look, I have always accepted concerns about immigration are legitimate, it is as a point of fact, the policy of this government to reduce both net migration and our economic dependency upon it. I have never thought we should be relaxed about some sectors importing labor when there are millions of young people, ambitious and highly talented, who are desperate to work and contribute to their community," he said. Trust me, there are plenty of examples of apprenticeship starts going down at the very same time that visa applications for the same skills are going up, and so we will get tough on this," Starmer added. New measures for businesses, many British industries, particularly healthcare, IT, and hospitality, have increasingly turned to foreign labor. However, under the new rules, businesses caught flouting visa laws will be banned from hiring from abroad. Sir Keir emphasis that the government would continue to scrutinize current visa sponsors to ensure compliance with regulations. The Prime Minister's plan also involves an annual assessment by the Migration Advisory Committee MAC. This independent body will identify sectors with labor market failures that rely heavily on overseas recruitment. The MAC has already been tasked with reviewing the impact of visa rules introduced by the previous Conservative government, including restrictions on dependents and increased salary thresholds for obtaining work permits. Labor's broader vision During his speech, Sir Keir spoke of creating a Britain built to last, built with respect and built with pride. Stressing that national renewal is a collective effort, he acknowledged that tough decisions in the short term would lead to long-term gains, but said there was light at the end of this tunnel. The Labour government has also highlighted a £22 billion black hole in public finances, which they claim was inherited from the Conservatives. Controversial decisions, including the cut to winter fuel payments for millions of pensioners, have drawn criticism, along with a row over donations to senior Labour figures. The number of applications has sharply decreased after the UK government implemented strict restrictions to limit immigration, as reported by UK Home Office, main applicants, skilled worker, 14.3% drop, skilled labourer relatives, 33.0% reduction, primary applicants, health and care workers, 79.7% drop, care providers dependents, a 46.9% decrease. Main applicants, health and care workers, 85.3% decline, health and care provider dependents, a decrease of 66.3. Main applicants for sponsored study, 41.1% decline, sponsored study, dependents, a decrease of 89.3%.